Well, my name is Juan Cruz Benito and I'm going to present uh, the VALS project and the semester of code initiative within this European project. So, um, what is VALS? What's VALS project? It's an European project for building knowledge alliances between universities and companies across Europe and worldwide with the aim of facing real business problems through hope and innovation approach based on using develop and developing uh, open software solutions through virtual placements in worldwide companies and foundation. It's supported by the Erasmus Knowledge Alliances program uh, within the, uh, the lifelong learning program. Uh, will will be closed at February 2016 and those are the partners. The coordinator is the University of Salamanca in Spain. Uh, we have as partners several companies like Open Directive, Rikon VV or Mindsock from Spain. Also we have the partners of University of Bolton, University of Audine, University of Cyprus and the Oswatch from the Oxford University. Um, Vals procedures. Um, we try to establish and building uh, bridges about uh, establishing knowledge alliances among the entities, both academic and business entities. Uh, the most interesting Vals innovation is about the definition of a system of virtual placement for students in companies. That is, we try to involve students from computer science degrees in virtual placement with companies related to open source solutions worldwide before they leave the, the degree of their studies. And within this, this project, we develop the Semester of Code Initiative. That is um, the, the program where the students have their placements in companies uh, that add telework. And uh, in this program, we involve academic tutors and business mentors in order to esteem the, and steer the project of virtual placements. Uh, about the project's nature in VALS and the semester of code, um, it's mandatory that all the projects offered to students uh, uh, need to be real problems from the participant companies and business. Uh, the student proposed an approach to solve this, this kind of real problems. And the proposed approach will be implemented during the, the timing, the, uh, the schedule of the semester of code. Uh, this is more or less the student workflow to participate in the semester of code. Uh, Top to bottom, uh, the student decides to participate, reviewing the web page where are offered the projects. Uh, the student um, apply for, for those they want. If the proposal is accepted, uh, the student, the company, and the university fix an agreement, uh, an official agreement for, for establishing the placements and other details for the project. Also, and regarding to the university, the student can propose an adaptation of the project in order to be recognized, for example, in the University of Salamanca, in our university, as part of their final degree thesis or MCC thesis. Uh, later, that the student develops the project and submit the project to the university in case they want to, to convalidate it as part of their studies. Uh, some companies involved in, in the virtual placement, we have uh, contact with the uh, Mozilla Foundation. They offer several projects in the semester of code, the Apache Software Foundation, GIMP Project, Moodle, uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory at NASA, and the Processing Foundation, for example. Um, uh, why to participate in the semester of code? Whoops. Uh, because the students can recognize the virtual placement like a regular internship in a, sh in a business, like a physical internship in a, in a business, and getting the CTS credits in the university. A uh, other reason to participate is because the project developed uh, within the scope of the semester of code could be adapted and reused 
as part of their studies, getting recognition in, as part of their final thesis degree or as part of a concrete subject. And because this experience can be the beginning of a pr very pr uh, promising student's professional career. And last, uh, because this experience helps students to develop generic skills like problem solving, working in industrial context, multidisciplinary teamwork, and communication with different kind of stakeholders. Um, this is a work in, pro in progress project, but we have several first results. Uh, we have developed two rounds of virtual placements and two rounds for the pilots regarding the semester of code. In the first pilot, we have uh, 12 universities, 64 companies, and more than 200 projects proposed to students. Uh, and we had 12 proposals submitted and seven students involved in finally in the in the projects. Regarding the, the second round of the semester of code, we get one university more, 13 universities. We get some companies more, 67, and nearly th uh, 300 projects offered to students. In this case, we, we get better results with the students and later I will explain our thoughts about the, this result, uh, about why we have uh, so many projects and so few students. Uh, at all, the final results of this two first round of the semester of code, we can highlight that we had 13 participant universities, more or less 67 participant companies with 300 projects offered and uh, 17 students at li actively involved in, in placement, with more than 30 students applying in Italy for their placements. About um, our approach to this problem, we, we develop, a, a, we follow a win-win approach. So the students win, participating in, in this kind of initiatives, the companies and foundation wins, the university wins, and finally, the society wins. Uh, why win the students? Uh, they get professional experience in real business context. They get contacts in software uh, industry that can facilitate the start of their professional career. Uh, they get personal experience in, in development of software, and they get academic rewards. In the case of business, they could find talent directly in universities. They don't need to go outside of the marketplace or steer a, 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 a job offering process. They could find talent directly before the students finalize the, their studies. Also, they establish uh, knowledge alliances with the universities and possibly they can transfer knowledge from the university to the business world. And for universities, uh, they will develop new methods for, for teaching and assessment. It's not the same to perform physical uh, placements than virtual placements. Uh, they could establish long-term knowledge alliances with the industry. They they could imp uh, import uh, successful practices from business to the academia, and uh, they offer, and for example in Spain this is a, a strong point, uh, innovative possibilities to students with a great cost benefit ratio in this context of crisis. Uh, to the society, what is, where is, what is the win for the society? Uh, the reduction of the gap between the business and the academia, and the better professional qualification obtained under equal opportunities in, also in this cra uh, context of crisis. Uh, a final thought we have in, in the project, and this is the, um, the most important work that we are doing at, at this moment, at the, at the end of the project. 
Uh, in this kind of initiatives that uh, involve many people and many kinds of stakeholders, all of them should be, must be motivated. We, we, we can try to involve uh, teachers and professors from the universities, um, mentors from business, students, but if they are not truly motivated with the project, we had more or less 300 placement proposals and only 30 students applying for them. Uh, the organizers must define well the target audience for its possible stakeholders. Don't look for, um, don't try to convince your mates at the university. Find people uh, motivated previously with this kind of initiatives. And the human factor fuels the process and drives the taxis. Take care about the people involved in your process. And as Einstein say, strive not to be a success, but rather to be a value. Contact and thank you.